Long anticipated VR MMO Zenith is finally available on Quest, PC VR and PSVR today. We've been playing around with the first few hours, here's our initial impressions from the VR Gamescast published every Thursday. Make sure to check Upload VR later in the week for our full final review. You know, if you've been watching in the past couple of weeks and months, you'll know that I think the beta was actually very, very impressive for Zenith. And similar to how Wanderer delivered on something we thought was far too ambitious and we thought there were studios biting off way too much uh, more than they could chew. I think here you've also got a game that I thought would never come together in the way its developers originally described. And in some senses, it has changed from the way that its developers originally described it. It's more sidesteps rather than scaling back. What this essentially is, is a really accessible MMO. I was very hesitant about getting into it because, you know, the, the MMO genre has become so saturated in the traditional gaming scene that you really have to have some kind of complex, interesting new hook to really attract people. Um, so it can't just be a repeat of World of Warcraft. You have to have something new in there that really pushes yeah. the genre forward. And that's always been like, for me, a thing of like, I don't want to spend 10 hours learning some kind of system before I mm. get into the game. So, so RuneScape, when it started out, was this very simple, like go and fetch quests, raise your stats sort of thing. And I, I said this in a podcast a couple of weeks ago, but I very much get those vibes from this as well. Like the first couple of hours of the game are these very simple, go out into giant fields, kill a certain number of enemies, get a certain number of items, but you know, do it with your friends. We've got really, really good accessible systems in there to party up and start guilds and everything like that. Um, that makes it like far less daunting than I thought it was going to be. You have two starting classes, which are uh, like a mage, which is basically you have gauntlets for ranged attacks, and then a swordmaster, which is kind of you hit an enemy and then your sword is on a charge. So after you've done that first hit, you have to wait a little bit for it to charge again, just so you're not, you know, right. um, and I didn't expect to see that level of like thought and care put into a MMO VR combat system. I thought it would totally just yeah. be wee waggle kind of stuff, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. So you have yep. those two main classes, and then you have, for each of them, you have three, um, like, roles, which is damage per second, uh, tank, or support. And they'll also kind of define the path you'll put on as you level up. Uh, they'll define your powers, which are called godstones, which are really just, like, gesture-based attacks and spells and everything like that. So I've been playing mainly as a mage. And like, if I want to do a special lightning attack in the damage per second class, I swipe my hand down and yeah, get this kind of shock attack, which is very cool. But recently I've been trying the support class, which instead I get a kind of uh, ice attack. And then as I've leveled up, I've quickly gained access to like an area of effect healing field thingy. So you can see how they're like clearly like splitting. There's really six classes, even though it's those two main things, but there's really yep. six differentiators there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's very simple so far, but there's a lot of content to it. It's very, very easy to just partner up with friends. It's literally just like, look at them, click add friend. Then do you want to get into the same party chat together? You could do that via the menu. Super good. And then you go have adventures and quests together and it works together on a scale with a simplicity um, and a smoothness I don't think we've really seen yet from any of the other VR, MMO kind of competitors out there, like Orbis and everything like that. And then there's, there's there's just really cool other systems in there, like there's kind of like that Population 1 glide, so you can get over across mm -hmm. the map really, really quickly just by spreading your arms out when you when you jump off the side of something. Uh, the, the quest system is super comprehensive. You just bring up a mini-map above your left hand. It tells you everywhere about where you need to be, how many enemies you need to kill, you have out in the field, you have, you know, your various events with countdown timers starting to like extra events if you want to do those. You have fun little race courses using the gliding system. You've got a really, uh, ironically enough, you've got a really fun cooking system in there for making health items. So like you start off just with like being able to make uh, cookies. <laughs> I've seen the most talk about this cooking system over yeah. anything, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good system because you, you have to like heat up milk 
you have to add in sugar and then you like make <laughs> yeah. a little dough ball and like you can't just leave the dough ball but you have to like get into a system of like tossing it up obviously it's fairly automated so you're not about to just throw the dough ball off <laughs> yeah but you can like you can throw it off and you can burn your food so mm. there, there is a fun interactive element to it um and like last night i was i was just playing just before the servers went down and um, a mysterious man by the name of david just suddenly turned up and it was like it's just so cool to be like oh <laughs> yeah look there's it. someone i sort of know and he's just standing here right in front of me and you know what we're gonna party up and we're gonna go on quest together and it's very cool yeah. yeah, in terms and and it's all cross play, it's all cross progression. So if you have two versions of the game and sign into the same account, you'll be keeping that, and you'll also be mm. like you can still stick with the same friends in game and everything like that. So it's very very well connected. They've done such a great job with the connective tissue and social aspects of the game. It's just now, as I play it for the next week or so, it's going to be about all right, how much content is there in here? is there going to be a progression path that keeps me in for 20, 30, 40, 50 hours? Yeah. What's coming up in the roadmap? And are they really going to deliver on the MMO dream? Because this is a really great start, but it is just just the start, you know? Mm. Mm. So, it's interesting because I'm, I'm not a big, I've never played pretty much, I don't think, any MMO. I've seen a lot of them. I've watched people play them. My housemate's a huge world of warcraft guy he's been playing it for years like 20 years and he's only like 25 mm. um and so i i know about it but it, it's not a genre that overly appeals to me mainly because i think too like and i think about this in relation to vr and i don't know what that's what this is like in zenith but a lot of it is kind of i i don't like the grindy stuff uh the grindy aspects of mmos i like the social idea but i, mm. I don't like the kind of overwhelming amount of like oh my god i could do all of these things and a lot mm. of it's very grindy and you grind through levels and when people start talking to you about wow and they're like oh you can like just pay to get your level up to here and then you can do and i'm just like you've already lost me like yeah already too much thought so i'm i'm interested because to me vr does not sound like a a medium where i want to do that either if i was going to play mm. a game like that i don't want to be doing like grindy repetitive stuff in vr to me it's a bit like the puzzle thing you know i don't want to be like mm. stuck walking places or doing the same thing over and over again or um so I'm interested to see if this is actually like different in that way or if it is just like that and it's literally like you're in an MMO like every other MMO, but it's in VR now. See, um, yeah, I think that I think that's really interesting because I then I, I don't think this will be for you because it is very no. much the <laughs> it is very much the traditional MMO yeah. transplanted over to VR and the the things that really work about it because it's in VR are the social aspect of being like, Oh, someone yeah. like my friend is right here with me, which is really, really cool to see. And then the cooking yeah. and then the thought they put into the combat and everything like that. Yeah. But, but structurally it, it is, it is okay. You MMO. can go and get these yeah. six different quests. Yeah. And as you play, you're probably like, there's a, there's a main quest line to go through, but as you play, you'll probably like fill out the rest of the boxes, then run back. And you know, you have a little experience meter, which means you're going to have yeah. better stats once it fills up and everything like that. So I, I I know what you mean. I like I'm not one for like I'm not one for like destiny and everything like that. Where yeah, you know, exactly. Repeat. And yeah. and that was ultimately kind of one of my feelings about after the fall was you know like I get that you have four really fun court maps here, but I'm not the type of person that's going to jump back in and grind to get the next accessory just so I can play it again a bit better a than I did thing. last time. Yeah, yeah. But you know I do. I do appreciate But it sounds like this is here. the best version. Like they've they've done the best version of like yeah. of all the MMOs we've seen. This is like, oh, they've they've properly done the MMO in VR, which it seems like that's what you're saying is the kind of exactly. benefit of this one. Yeah. Because potentially, you know, if there's enough content in the game, which again, review in progress, haven't played too much yet, don't know if that's there, but if there is the progression that you can play for fifty hours and you're still yeah. leveling up and you're getting new gear and you're like really, really progressing and seeing cool new areas and stuff like that then that's going to be very, very powerful. That definitely speaks to me a fair bit more than other attempts in the past. Mm. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just very happy that it's so undaunting, I think is, is the thing I really want to hammer home there. Yeah. If you're looking at Zenith and thinking, like maybe you're into RPGs or something like that, but you're a bit worried that there's going to be some complex, really hard to learn combat system or something in there, it might grow out and flesh out with new features in the future, but it's very, very graspable in those first few hours. And I think that's key. You can just get in there and start having MMO style fun pretty much straight away. And I think that's a really, really good place to be on day one when you're kind of 
waving mm. the flag for what MMOs can be in VR as a whole. 